Welcome to this uh, video about changing a subject or rearranging formulas. And before I start, I want to say that one of you asked me to help with these questions on my website explainingmaps.com. You can do the same thing. Go to my website, ask me any questions you have. I'll help you for free. At the same time, you'll find all the resources you need to pass your maths exam. Yeah? So check it out, please. Explainingmaths.com. All right. So we are changing the subject. A yeah? typical exam uh, type of question. And we have to uh, rearrange the formulas to make Q the subject. Yeah. And this is the first question. A bracket Q minus C bracket equals D. And then the second question will be for opening bracket Q minus 2P bracket equals 3Q plus 2. Now, let's begin with the first one. Just put this one to the side. So making Q the subject means that I want it to say eventually, yeah, so after all these steps, I want it to say, so Q equals and then the rest of the formula. Yeah? So what does 1Q equal to yeah so that means that q is the subject that we have rearranged the formula now there are several ways of doing it uh, for this particular question um, so you do whatever you want to do but what i prefer is just to expand okay so i'm going to expand those brackets aq minus ac equals d okay so that's my first step then my second step would be to um, yeah some of you say start moving but you're not actually moving here yeah? but i'm going to isolate this term with the Q in it. So AQ equals D plus AC. Do you understand that step? Yeah. So to get rid of the minus AC, I plus it by AC, but then I have to plus the right side by AC as well. Yeah? And therefore I have this plus AC term here now. So it almost says Q equals and then the rest, but it's for now it says A times Q equals D plus AC. So my final step is to divide by A. So I divide that side by A as well, the entire right side, okay? So you could say D plus AC over A, yeah? Or if you would simplify that, it would be D over A plus C, okay? Because you kind of get rid of that common um, factor, but make sure you also do D divided by A plus C. Okay, so that would be the answer. Q is the subject now, I have rearranged um, the formula. Fantastic. Now let's go to that second question. I'm going to put that one to the side over there. Let's put an entire question away yeah? and put this one in front. So still Q, um, yeah? the objective is to make Q the subject. And again, there are more ways of doing it. Uh, you could divide by four now, but I just like to expand. I don't know why, but that's just what I prefer. So I always expand four oh, in red. Well, doesn't matter, does it? Four Q minus 8p, yeah? don't forget to also expand that second term and times it by 4 equals 3q plus 2. Now we start rearranging, we want all the q's on one side if you like. So our 4, oh that's an email, 4q minus 3q equals 2 plus 8p. Yeah, so um, I did plus 8p on the left side, so plus 8p on the right side, so this one is gone, and that's why I have the 8p here, and I did minus the 3q here, minus 3q on the right side, so I have to do minus 3q on the left side, okay, so that's what we got. Now 4q minus 3q, that is actually 1q, oh, in blue now, well, we have a lot of colors, equals 2 plus 8p. Well, that's your final answer because now q is the subject. I've rearranged the formula. It says now q equals, and so 1q equals 2 plus 8p. I hope that was useful, changing the subject. I'll do another video uh, with some more example questions. Again, one of you asked me to help you with um, rearranging formulas on my site, explainingmaths.com, and you can do the same thing and I'll help you too. Okay, I wish you a very pleasant evening and talk to you later. Bye-bye.